Everybody, everybody, it's the Goonies 2! Now you might be asking, what what the heck, why the Goonies 2? There was no Goonies sequel movie, and you'd be correct. Uh, but this is actually the sequel to the first Goonies video game, which did not come out on the NES because it was older than that. You can read everything that's going on here, you know. You know the general plot to the Goonies, you know. So, this is developed and published by Konami, which, right off the bat, is gonna make most people expect a bit of quality, you know? Konami? They don't often make garbage, you know? And that's not to say that it's literally impossible for them, for them to make garbage. Oh no. Okay, good. So, that energy there, it's not just literally two hits and then we're dead. I, I, I was unsure. I admittedly don't know that much about the Goonies 2. I know that we just got a hammer. <laughs> I know that it's a, uh, it's a, it's a very ambitious game. That unfortunately sometimes uh, means that the ambition translates to a little bit of nonsense every now and then. We've now got a key holder. <laughs> Nothing to hit here. So, immediately, you can tell this is... <laughs> Nothing here, okay. You can tell this is kind of a... Uh, combination platformer adventure game. We can't use the hammer on the safe, I already tried that. How about the key? The key works! Find the Goonies with the magic locator device. Okay, I'm not sure if that was just like a hint or what, but uh... Okay, now we gotta get out of here. Yeah, I don't think that actually gave us the magic locator device, so oh well. But yes, f from what little I do know about this game, I do know that it can be rather obtuse at times. It requires a lot of poking around and finding an object so you can get to the next uh, area and all that. But yeah, it's got, you know, comp adventure aspects. Oh no. Bad start, boy. It's got adventure aspects. It's got platformer aspects. It's a game that tries to do a lot. I'm not sure if, uh... Ooh, we can select our shoes. <laughs> That's kind of goofy. We only have a yo-yo as a weapon, of course. We don't really have anything else to do here, so... If that area means anything, we don't have what we need to fully leverage it. I hope that makes sense. So, yeah, I'm predicting there'll be a lot of wandering around. Just trying to find out what to do next, where to go, all of that. It is an adventure. What do we got here? Hey, look! The magic locator device. <laughs> Well, isn't that convenient? And I believe... Is that what gave us our map there? Okay, so if we go down from here... Well, turns out that didn't allow us to go down, it just killed us. I don't know if... Do you have lives in this game? I think you do, yeah, and I think we're down to one. Alright, so don't... <laughs> try not to die anymore, you know? I believe we are the red dot, then. That's what makes sense to me, at least. Meaning that if we go up here, we should then wind up, yes, going one square up. And then we can confirm, for sure. Absolutely. So there should be a Goonie to the right, right? If my magic locator device is anything to go off of. If I can make that jump, let's see, seems a little... Okay, we made it. Get out of my life, snake. Nothing here. That's a little odd, right? Okay. 
Can we, like, tap the wall or something? Hey, there we go! Okay! Yeah, we just, you know, smash the wall with the hammer, and you'll come across something. And there we go. Mikey, you're late. <laughs> I was almost killed. <laughs> oh, no. Don't worry. You weren't killed. So, we saved a Goonie. You know, I would call that, um... <laughs> actually, more than even I would have suspected I would have gotten done. So, there you go. We're not... We're not a total fool. We can... We can deduce what's going on in the game enough to save a single Goonie. Who doesn't remember this classic track from the movie? Now what I- okay, what I want to do now is go down here. Hope that this brings me to a new land of adventure. Now, okay, I don't have another Goonie located on the, uh, locator. So it's- it's gonna be a little wandering from here on out, you know? What do we got in this door? I don't have any more keys, so that's- that's gonna be a bit of a problem. Can't use. Wow, well, okay. <laughs> I'm not sure the logic there, but, you know, apparently there is logic there because I was able to at least figure it out a little bit. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. You'd think that, you know, hitting the wall is just utter nonsense, and yet here I am hitting the wall and realizing that there's purpose to it, so... I guess in some weird way, yes, that is a perfectly logical game design choice. If I'm able to figure it out with no manual telling me what to do or anything like that, well... I can't be too upset that that's what they decided to go with, right? Like there's some primal urge deep within me to uh, hit the wall. <laughs> anything over here? Not really. Just more spiders, you know? Game controls well. I'll tell you that much, you know. It it it, it, it controls as well as it needs to. I suppose I may say. Okay. We got we got Molotovs now, I'm not sure how to use them, and I'm not sure where I need to use them, but I'm sure it will be very mandatory at some point. Meanwhile, what do we got in here? Oh, hey! This is a warp zone! Oh! Good lord. Uh... Ouch! <laughs> what do you... What, what do I do? I don't know. I'm not really sure how to, uh, you know utilize his warp capabilities. I assume like this? How do I stop going? Okay, there we go. Oh, I, I need to hit the wall, clearly. Nothing there. What if I, what if I equip the hammer and hit the wall? Nope, don't take. Hit. Nothing. How about this wall? Nope. See, he calls it a warp zone, but I don't really feel like I have warped at all. Okay. Up and B. That's how you actually use the Molotov. Now that I've, you know, totally wasted one. I feel like I'm... stuck in an area that I shouldn't be stuck in. Hey! It's a key! That, that was a bird, you know. When in, when in doubt, when you're not sure what to say, just start, um... You know, like, a dictating what you see on the screen in the most literal way possible. Now, if, if there's a way to, like, talk to this guy... No, can't use the key. So, okay, we clearly have to hammer murder him. PLEASE! 
help me? <laughs> what? <laughs> How am I supposed to help you, man? <laughs> yeah, because this room seems useless. There's nothing to do here. But wait. I still have I still have my ideas, you know. What about the ceiling? Ow! Look at that. Uh unfortunately I don't know how to interact with it. <laughs> okay, so we gotta do that again. Unfortunately when you hit go, you have to actually go somewhere else. Nothing to take, okay. Hit it with our fist. Nothing here. Okay, well uh, I'm I'm again unsure. Is there an item that I need to be able to uh, reach that hole? I would assume so. And I clearly don't have that item yet. Yeah, because I can't just go up and go into the hole. Well, this is not the most useful warp zone I've ever seen in my life, so thanks for nothing there, Mr. Uh, Sage Wizard Man. When I said this game is obtuse, this is a little bit of what I was talking about, you know? Well, I guess we'll go in here. That's not what I was playing. There we go, okay. This is how I get to where I wanted to go here. You know, there's kind of multiple planes of existence going on here. This is the Goonies tackling the multiverse theory. We're on front, so there must be front and back. I was, I, I assume I was on back earlier. I guess I wasn't really paying attention to any words like that. We're in here. What do we got? Hey, I can use a key here now. Find the Goonies with the. Ah, I already knew that. Well, kind of a waste of a key, wouldn't you say? So this must be the very start of the game where I've already been, and I got no interest in coming back. Oh, come on, bird. Alright, so the game is going to do that annoying thing where the birds uh, dodge you like absolute madmen. So be it. Man, I shouldn't say so be too loud, I'm just going to make me weep. Who else enjoyed Sobe Lizard Fuel? That stuff was fantastic. The Strawberry Daiquiri. This is a Warp Zone as well, is it? Okay, well, okay. Going backwards brings me back out the door, so what if I go forward? Can I actually warp somewhere? Oh, wow. Yeah, look at that. Alright, so this guy, this guy wasn't lying. The other dude, you know, he gave me a, uh, a, what was allegedly a Warp Zone, and it felt kind of like a total waste of my time, quite frankly. Someone like drop a heart? Actually, it's just gonna kill me. Oh no! You'd better quit. Try it again. If yes, push start. Well, yeah, I'm gonna try it again. Good luck. Thanks. Thanks. So, do we gotta like? It looks like. Okay, we haven't really lost much. We've lost our keys and we've lost our stash of Molotovs, but we are fortunately... I, we have our three energy, so I assume the one Goonie we saved is still... <coughs> oh, oh, I apologize. Still saved. Oh, my. Ah, don't go forward there. Rule number one in the Goonies, hit everything with a hammer. Who doesn't remember this from the movie, when they just started hitting every wall in every room that they came in contact with, with a hammer? It's, it's, it's an all-time classic part, really. Oh, okay. 
here we are. This is one of those games that does in fact have a fire world and an ice world, so if you hate one, don't worry, they have the other too. Oh, no, 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 no. I think I would, uh, prefer ice, uh, fire world to ice world. Oh, gosh, yeah, look at this. I'm getting toasted here. Well, I guess, you know, I'm, I'm getting frozen, I'm not getting toasted. I don't have any keys, man. I can't, uh... See your... Ooh. Wow, it's a Goonie! Shame I don't have any keys, you know? Hey, if I had a key for you there, I would help you out. Instead, I'm just gonna... Bonk you. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't let you bonk them. So, is there any way that I can, like, farm for keys around here or something? Any kindly bat that's going to drop me a key, like in, uh, Ghost House the other day? Maybe the walrus? Hey! Give me... How did we wind up here, of all places? I just need me a key, game. If you could please, uh... Be so kind as to provide me with, uh... A single key. Well, that's a heart. I'd like the guy to just respawn, please. I, I saw him. Ah, yay, yay! Okay, that's a penguin. So I'm hoping that if I just kind of camp out here for a little bit, eventually this pingu will uh, drop a key. Drop a heart. Come on. I know you got it in you. Maybe I'm, like, farming for something that will never come. Let's no, no! There it is! Good things come to those who wait. A little bit of patience will win the day. Lady, you are so lucky. Thank you, Mikey. You're braver than Brand. Hey. Tell me something I don't know, you know. That's an, now we got four energy. We can we can take a lick it and keep on ticking, you know? I remember the first time I ever saw the Goonies and they said shit and I thought, wow, this movie's some hardcore stuff. There we go, got on the other side of him so that I wouldn't just uh, instantly die. This is brutal, man! This kid's getting axes lobbed at him and he's... Ugh, Mikey doesn't care, you know? So, if I'm remembering the folklore of this game, there are hidden items in areas, but I'm quite frankly not sure how to get to them. So I'm just gonna kinda leave this ice zone, cause, I mean, come on, I saved a Goonie. That's pretty, that's pretty good, if you ask me. I'd say my job here is pretty much done. Okay, so we're... We're on the back side of the map here. See, having like two whole sides of the map, you can't tell me that that's not ambitious. Oh uh, no, okay, well, I'm glad the waterfall just hurts you and doesn't immediately kill you because that's that's what I thought it would have done, honestly. Would have been some super pitfall garbage where it just sends you down to the very depths of the level. It sure is a warp zone. I didn't mean to come back here, honestly, but we'll climb this vine here. We'll see you where this leads me. Oh, oh. Some kind of, uh, runic symbol. Get out of here if you have nothing to do. You know what we do to people like this. Never gets old, you know? Well, I guess I have nothing to do, and, uh... This old hermit isn't gonna really help me with anything. It may seem like I'm just kind of wasting time at this point, but... You never know, right? Right, nothing to hit. Wait, what if we... what if we, uh... What if we take this person? What if we actually just kidnap this old hermit? No, nope, it won't let us. Fine. What do you do? I 
assume that that's a mistranslation of what are you doing. <laughs> Asking what do you do seems a little goofy there. What do I do? Well, clearly I punch you. That's my only purpose in this world. These bats are giving me some serious, uh, ghost house PTSD. Oh no, the scorpion shot me! I thought I could, uh, kill it to get a heart, but no, I, I just wound up taking more damage than I saved. Oh no, it's dark in here. Are you tired? I'll fill up your energy. Hey, you know, you're one of the first helpful people that I've seen in this entire game. Nothing here. Go back. Nothing here. Okay. Appears to be a uh, kind of square shaped area then. And I'm assuming that there's something that I can actually get, but I need something to illuminate the room with. basic logic would dictate that. In this game, you know, it follows, uh... what it thinks is basic logic. As close to basic logic as you'll get with a game like The Goonies 2. Oh, just you? I do have nothing to do, actually, so... Yeah, let's, uh, let's just go back here. Clearly, that was not the promised land. No. Oh, okay, so that's that's how that one's gonna go. Gotta get it on its way back out. Just like that. You know, a key? Good enough for me. Hold on now. I'm feeling a little overdue for a special item, you know? Something that can maybe, uh, aid me in progressing in this game. Maybe some special shoes or something of the sort. Maybe I've... maybe by coming up here I've just completely dodged something that would have helped me. It's possible. Nice rope bridge, Ian. It is actually some, uh, well-drawn rope bridge action. It's, uh, it's nice to know that the platforming actually works. There's no, you know, going through <laughs> the floor for no reason here. I was able to make it across that rope bridge remarkably pain-free, actually. Yeah, this is a game where if... If you have a lot of time on your hands, you can brute force your way through this game. But if you, uh, <laughs> if you don't, and you want to actually beat it, this is almost certainly one of those older games that you're just going to want to guide for. So I don't know why I went all the way down there. There's clearly nothing for me there. Gotta say the spider's kind of playing vanguard to the top of the vine. A little, uh, a little questionable. More darkness. Hey! Oh, another magic locator device. Well, better than nothing, I guess. Must be on the back. The next one that the magic locator device is going to point you towards. What are we fighting here? Some kind of gargoyle being? Nickelodeon's gargoyles didn't even come out at this point. I'm pretty sure. I think it was more 90s and 80s. Oh, no, no, no. Of course I'm gonna try again. Who do you think I am, a baby? Turns out the gargoyle, uh, means business. Oh, come on, spider. Maybe we're just better off ignoring it for now.
I feel like, you know, these runes are trying to point me somewhere important, but... Do you have a vest and a coat to protect you? No, I don't. <laughs> yeah, it's all- it's- it's clearly all I can do. I mean, it's not like you've got much on offer for me here. I'm not sure if hammering the sidewalls will ever actually do anything. But, you know. You know, as far as I can see, this person is just, you know, heckling me. And has nothing to actually offer, so... Be gone, get out of my sight. This is a game where pretty much all of the difficulty that it may have comes pretty much strictly from just not knowing what to do. I'm not even sure where I hit the wall there. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be straight up with you, I'm, I'm incredibly lost right now. And that's what they want from this game, you know? They just wanted people to feel lost. Which, I mean, to be fair, that's how you create an effective adventure on the NES, you know? Yeah, we'll just, we'll just let the gargoyle get out of here. Now, I can go up here, and that might, be, that might get me closer to the next Goonie that it's got on the magic locator device. But there's no guarantee that I'll even be able to make it to them. You know, I could be missing a crucial piece of apparel, or a crucial little, uh, tool needed. No hearts? Yeah, okay. This game made a charity, that's for sure. But it's also far from the hardest thing that I've ever played. You know, yeah, you lose some... You lose some of your stuff when you're trying to... Use a continue and all that. So I don't know why I'm going in here without any keys. You know, it's, it's not going to help me much. there. <laughs> That's not gonna work, you do need a key. Unless there's not a Goonie here and it's, it's pointing me towards something else? I don't know why it would though, you know? I'm always suspicious of rooms with nothing in them like this, you know? Like, it makes me think, there's gotta be more to you. Okay, well, I'm clearly missing something. Whether I'm missing something uh, from an ideological standpoint, or just missing a literal item that will help. That's again why I said, if you want to beat this game nowadays, best get yourself a guide. Start hitting, start hitting walls, right? That led us somewhere. Oh, but you know they're not gonna, you know, play the same trick on you twice there. I hope that, you know, me hitting walls with a hammer is the most exciting thing that you've ever seen. Because if it's not, then who? <laughs> Wow, nothing, huh? Okay. They went through all the effort to hide a door. How far right can I go? Oh, I see. I, you go right infinitely, and then you go left, and then you're already back to the start. Okay. Well, that's... That's another one of those things that exists purely to completely mess with your equilibrium and make you question everything you've ever known.
And you know what? Good on you, game. <laughs> you no doubt wasted many, many hours of certain kids' lives just by being very difficult to follow. And this is, this probably isn't even, you know, one of the most abstract titles that we'll play. I, I, I saw, I, I thought I had him stun locked and I thought I could, you know, bully him, but no, he, he came back. And he destroyed me in the end. Oops, that's, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Well, okay. Now I feel stuck where I am, you know? Sniped, man. This is a game that I feel like... I feel like on paper and all that, it is actually pretty good. It's just... It doesn't do much to help you out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sometimes the navigation really doesn't make any sense either. So I don't know where I have been. It's the kind of game where, you know, maybe drawing your own map in the real world will help you out a little bit. There we go. I was hoping I'd be able to make that little hop. Now, if you're me, kind of guy who looks at that uh, plummet down there in the lower right hand uh, side and you're like, I want to go there. <laughs> Bring me to my doom. But then you get over here and you wonder, well, how is that going to be possible? <laughs> do they die? They do eventually die, okay. They're just really not worth trying to attack. No, I don't have a vest or a coat to protect me. You got me. For all I know, I'm in like some far end game area that I shouldn't be in right now, and I am woefully underprepared to handle anything. Well, that's the perfect spot for the scorpion to do damage to me and me not do damage to the scorpion, so I found a perfect point. Yeah, let's just, let's just climb up the vine here. I don't know if I've gone up this direction. Wait, yes, this is where I came from initially, actually. Right, and then we got the rope bridge. Okay. That doesn't mean I know where I am, mind you. Not at all. I just... You know, I'm noticing a familiar sight. I think it's. <laughs> I was say, I think as long as you keep running, you can. Oh, good. Probably to the side I wanted to be to. I was gonna say, as long as you keep running, I think you can avoid too much mistreatment from those bad boys. Oh. You hate that, though. Everybody hates that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Oh, you died. You suck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me something I don't know. Alright, back here. It's something beautiful, you know? When you think you're gonna be okay, and then you run right into an enemy. Likewise, a waterfall spawns on you. When you're in the ideally incorrect position.
run here. Ah, uh, no, no, no. This is another dark place. We need a flashlight. I assume it'll be a flashlight or maybe a kerosene lamp or something. I don't know. I don't know what kind of snake oil this game's gonna try to peddle me. But it's clear. What if I go backwards here? Right, that brings you back to the ice world, which actually I kind of wanted to get to because I'd like to backtrack as far back as possible at this point. The deadliest penguins you've ever seen. I've seen plenty of games where you play as penguins, but getting murdered by penguins is kind of a new one. Yeah, I know, plenty of games where you play as penguins. You'd assume that that would be a, a more niche topic, but they're out there, believe you me. So, okay, I probably need an item there. Hey, I got a thing! A boomerang. I don't know if it's gonna help me. I'm Eskimo! There's nothing here! Are you kidding me, man? So, yes, that's a new weapon type. It looks like it's basically just a strictly better uh, yo yo. Give yourself some range, at least, you know? Oh, except, you know, you are left a little bit defenseless while it's flying. So maybe, maybe not strictly better in every sense of the word. And it doesn't appear to do as much damage. Alright, well, so... A little more lukewarm on the boomerang. But maybe, maybe it's important to progress. I don't know. I'm just spitballing. I believe that's the door I came through, which means I don't want to go through that again, because I don't think that there's anything for me there. Come on! <laughs> Come on, man! I want- I want the heart. Yeah, okay! Without anything else spawning. I got my cake, and I ate it too. Never did understand the meaning of that phrase. You can't have your cake and eat it too. Okay, well, that looks like you can't buy your car and drive it too. What would, like, what is, what is the point of owning such a thing if you cannot indulge in what it has to offer? I'm sure there's some meaning to it somewhere, but I, I don't know what it is. Oh, come on. See. This is why you hate ice stages. Slip and slides are an outdoor activity. Not to be leveraged within the cavernous expanses of wherever I am. Well, I died, but it doesn't look like there's anything over there anyway. Unless... Well, it was a hunch. Getting your head caught on the uh, stalactite there, that, that hurts a little bit. I'm not sure if that's a stalactite or a stalagmite, so sorry to all you uh, geology enthusiasts. I don't, I don't know if I like the boomerang, to be honest. It's got more range than the yo-yo, that's for sure, but it does less damage and it kind of leaves you a sitting duck while you're waiting for it to come back. So, yeah, genuinely... Not sure if I'm all in on the boomerang. Whoops. So back here we come. In our quest to find anything. We did find a boomerang, so you know, it's not like we've completely stagnated in terms of our uh, discoveries. If you continue to search around, you'll eventually find more things. If for no other cause than sheer dumb luck. Wow. That didn't exactly help my case much, finding that door. That was, you know, a little... a little dangerous. 
but I like to live on the edge. So let's try going down right here. I've probably revisited, like, everything <laughs> that this game has to offer multiple times. And I'm just not putting all of the pieces together. You know, uh, there's, a, there's a lot of uh, hidden mysteries in the Goonies, too. It take, it's gonna take you more than an hour to make any real considerable progress in it. I recall this door, but I don't remember... <laughs> ...what's through it? <laughs> That's what's through it, okay. Was there like a Goonie here or something at one point? Or maybe... No, there was a magic locator device here, I think. If I'm remem if I'm remembering correctly, which means, you know, there's really no reason for me to stick around and try to find anything else there. It's another reason why, you know, if you were to play this back in the day, despite the game giving you a map, you definitely want to keep one of your own and note notate the important things you find. And there's a level in which I kind of respect that, you know? It's a, it says, hey, if you want to accomplish anything in this game, this is, this is actually a warp zone. Yeah. Whoops, but I went the wrong direction. The game's a little uh, confusing in the, uh, the, the room navigation there. Okay, been some time since I've been in this area. The early game as it were. You got no direction to go but up, so up we will go. Now, in truth, maybe I'm supposed to be way back to where I found that room with the uh, double safes that the magic locator device was pointing me towards. That's possible. It could be that I'm totally off course. But, like, I haven't seen a safe yet that has given me anything other than advice. So that's... that's the only reason why I really struggle to believe that it's gonna be that important. Hmm. Like, I could be as far away from getting anything done here as I could be. If we go in here, it's gonna be nothing, right? I am not opening that safe. I'm not wasting a key on it. It's just gonna tell me that I need a mag a magical locator device. <laughs> I know your tricks. You can try to fool me, and it'll work a couple times. I'm glad, you know, there was a little bit of a lip there. It's nice forward-thinking design there. What I can't remember is if there's anything over here. There's not. And I can't throw a Molotov to find out. I don't think there would be anyway. You know, the spider acting as the vanguard. I've said my piece on that. I think that's that's a little lame. No real way to get up without taking damage at that point. Oh, look at that. We've died again. <laughs> yeah. Wrong side of the world, pretty much. <laughs> Dodge the bird like a professional. 
we've never had the slingshot before. I'm in trouble without glasses. Do you have any? Well, I'm sorry, no I don't. I don't have any glasses for you. But I do have a slingshot. With limited ammo, but it's, uh, you know. See, it's nice finding it and all that. But my main problem with finding the slingshot is I really don't think that's going to aid in any actual progression. It's those, uh... Those items that allow you to actually move forward that seem to be the most scarce. That said, I, I do think I genuinely just have to hoof my way all the way back to the, uh... What am I thinking? The double safe room that my, uh... Magical locator device is pointing me to. Like, I'm not sure... I don't think that it strictly points you towards Goonies. I think it may just basically tell you where you gotta go. It is a warp zone, as a matter of fact. The hard part is gonna be, you know... Remembering how I got there. <laughs> I got there through the ice world, I remember that. So I gotta find my way back to that ice world. Oh, come on now. Somehow, without game overing, so I don't lose the two keys I have. I mean, I know, you can eventually find yourself some keys. This is not correct. I, I can tell you that right now. I'll be perfectly honest with you, there's an odd I never make it back. <laughs> there, there's an odd. The, uh, the odds are I just straight up don't make it back there in time. I don't think I'll game over, because I do have a couple lives stashed away. I just gotta not, you know, find myself going down any bottomless pits. As you may suspect, that is a crucial element here. This is feeling... Not oh, no, actually, actually, this might be fine. This might be fine. Now, this is a dark room, right? Yes. But it brought me to the ice world, but I don't think this is the right... The... This is not the correct spot in the ice caverns, if I'm recalling correctly. Which I could be recalling incorrectly. But I'm a, I'm feeling a little bit... No, 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 yeah, this is, this is not the right part of the ice caverns. I gotta make my way to a different spot. The same place in the ice caverns where I saved the Goonie. The little girl Goonie. Other no otherwise known as a girl knee. Yeah, I was gonna say, please don't let me die. Navigation is hard, okay? <laughs> it's not the most intuitive that it could be. What are you saying, man? You need things to be as intuitive as possible, or else you're just incapable? Maybe I am saying that, huh? You wanna fight about it? Bats. Spiders. All things loved by all. Not the right place. Which means we gotta go right. Probably. We're going right, that doesn't mean we're going correct. One is a direction, one is a uh, state of truth. Not correct. I think this is the right track? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> I, again, could be wrong. Well, you know. Could have used you back when I was in my time of need. This feels... familiar, though. Man, really should have been paying attention to how I was uh, getting to and from places. Now I'm paying for it by just guessing like a madman. 
Thank you, Pat. Yeah, so that... that wasn't correct. And at this point, you may also be asking, oh, why are you trying so desperately to get back to the safe room when you don't really have any time to do anything afterwards? Just chewing up all your video time! And I say, hey, that doesn't mean we can't put in our absolute best effort. It's a very defeatist way of looking at it, saying you'll be out of time, so don't bother. No, 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 no. We'll be out of time, sure, yes, but do bother. Nope. Gotta go to the right, because that'll get us to the right side of the back portion of the map. See, see how I'm thinking this through in my head here? Yes! We do have to go over the rope bridge. You know, kind of a... Uh, contentious affair. Thank God that bird didn't knock me back or anything like that. I don't, uh, these heads haven't actually hurt me yet. I don't know if they do hurt you. Or if they're just kind of there to make you nervous. If they are literally just there to make you nervous, well then heck, I can deal with that all day. No, don't go down here. Go down here. Falling down a pit will kill you. Climbing down a pit is absolutely fine. Which, you know, I guess makes sense if you're a uh, professional climber and uh, you've got all your climbing apparatus and your... Okay, this is, this is not it. If you're a professional climber and you've got all of your climbing gear and whatnot, then I suppose you'll get to your destination safely. If you just kind of dive right off the cliffs of Dover, well then, maybe not quite as safe. Yeah, you just go right under him, see? Hold on. Is this... Yes. And then this gets you here. Okay! See? See? I knew I could crawl my way back, one way or another. <laughs> I even got that snake without getting hit. Pretty impressive, right? Yeah, because the only reason that we didn't do anything with those safes was because I didn't have any keys. So I just kind of, you know, decided, let me run all the way to the start of the game. <laughs> I just had a weird feeling like this was not where I was supposed to be in the game, but I, I'm thinking that I was wrong with that assessment. I'm right where I gotta be, probably. Maybe. Now, this is a little bit of... a little bit of questionable content. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. Do your little emergency chirp. Tell me... Tell me that I'm on death's door. All I want to do is make it to those safes. I, I want to see what's in them, you know? Yeah, don't don't die to a scorpion right before you make it to the goal. You met a testy old lady who might help you? That's true, I did. Yeah, but can I, like, actually get something? Konami Man will be near a moving rock. So... Turns out, yeah, it was just more hints. <laughs> what an anti-climax, man. I was here thinking that, you know, I'd open up a safe and it'd be like, here, it's the flashlight. And I'd be like, wow, thank God, finally something. Nope, instead it's just like, Chubb dislikes smoke. Like, hey, here's where you can find this guy. We're not gonna tell you where he is, but, you know, he'll be in that general region. <laughs> I know, I've, I've already figured this out, that this doesn't get you anywhere. 
um, that there's nothing here either. Boy, yeah, without... Whew. Trying to figure this game out on your own is a definite uh, puzzler. But not in the same way that Tetris is a puzzler, you know, where you can just, you know, figure your way around the world and uh, <laughs> the world of Tetris. Actually, you know, there was a game called Tetris World, so it's not as absurd of, not as abs as absurd of a statement as it seems. No, it's not in the way that it's like, hey, you get to figure this out through the power of your own ability. It's like, yeah, just kind of keep trying until something works. And I don't have any more keys, so I can't even, uh, you know, get that, no doubt, very, very helpful hint that will tell me some very good-to-know things. Yeah. You want to spawn more snakes here? See if a snake will give me a key? Oh boy, Molotovs! Don't you just love when you're spelunking and you find a snake and the snake literally has fire bombs on them. <laughs> it's new anti-poaching techniques. The uh, DNR has offered all of the uh, snakes of the world their own fire bombs to defend themselves with. It's a it's a controversial decision. Hey, more fire bombs. <laughs> I would like a key, please, though, Mr. Sneko. If at all possible, you know. Molotovs, I guess, are just kind of uh, what I'm going to be getting for the foreseeable future here. Maybe snakes don't drop keys. Maybe again, I'm 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 looking for love in all the wrong places. Am I really going to spend the last three minutes of this video killing a snake to try and get a key? <laughs> you tell me, man. I don't know. That's that's all I can really offer you for a uh, climactic will it happen, won't it happen moment. Turns out, snakes do job keys. As I thought. What do you got for me? <laughs> Konami man will fill up your energy. Okay, well, great. Now I know where to find him and what he'll do, even though I have both found him and have figured out what he does. So, <laughs> we're eating tonight. <laughs> At least now I know, should I ever decide to play this game in the future? I know I really don't ever have to bother with opening up safes. They have nothing for you, you know? Some rather milk toast advice, and that's about it. Ooh, another safe! There's a secret door behind the falls. The falls are kind of a big area of the game, too, so good luck finding it, you know? So, in the meantime, you know, we'll just we'll just go over here and see if there's anything on offer for us. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> now that I'm out of keys, you know, I... Gosh. <laughs> what a ridiculous game. It's like, again, I can't in good conscience tell you that it's poorly made. No, it's by all means, it's it's a perfectly functional game. It's just so uh <laughs> hey, figure it out, kid. <laughs> oh well, there we go. I want more snake keys. The bat is really just gonna do this for the rest of my days, isn't it? There you go. Yeah, unless you kill it. Hey! I got my slingshot back from a snake. So does that mean that the slingshot can literally just randomly spawn in the world and that finding it in that one door is actually nothing special? Because <laughs> that would just kind of be the cherry on top, wouldn't it? Hey, the key. Sweet. We can open up one more safe before this video is over. Gotta actually hit it with the hammer. Gotta not miss it with the hammer. What does it tell us? 
Well, by God, we got the waterproof coat. That's probably something very helpful. So, the safes do contain helpful items. It took us an hour to, to find one. Uh, that's, that's all I've got for you, man. That's all I've got for the Goonies 2. That's an hour of the Goonies 2. It was, it was a lot of what I thought it would be, you know, kind of walking around, trying desperately to find something, and eventually maybe finding something. Again, I can't rightly, in any good faith, call it a bad game, because it, it functions very well. Yeah, it's got those moments where you can't climb up a ladder without taking damage, and that, that always sucks. You gotta knock out a few points for that. Uh, that's a very easy-to-avoid thing when you're in the design phase, but... They decided to not avoid it at all. But, uh, yeah, no, that's that's what we've got. Un unfortunately, tomorrow, we've just got pure suffering. Uh, tomorrow is the Karate Kid, which I've kind of been foreshadowing for a while. I expect a experience potentially worse than Super Pitfall. We'll find out, though, I guess. We'll leave it to our own hands to decide that. Otherwise, Goonies 2, get yourself a guide, and I'm sure it's an okay little game, but uh, would take you a very, very long time to brute force and figure out otherwise, which they had to do back in the day. Either way, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time with the godforsaken Karate Kid.